Thanks, Imelda. So, our group was tasked to talk about economics research and possible inputs for the uh, Philippines project uh, for, uh, uh, for the research. Um, I think uh, one of the main major points uh, found here is the, the need for us to focus on collaborative opportunities uh, between Australian and uh, Filipino researchers, uh, both in terms of topics and in terms of actual uh, conduct of research and even in terms of, uh, you know, uh, venue where the research is done, so some cross, cross visits uh, will be very much appropriate. So some of the suggestions that looked at were quite policy oriented. One is based on the priority legislative agenda right now, there are 20 priority bills, uh, plus the actual uh, current version of the Philippine Development Plan and the uh, development priorities there. Also mentioned as a priority uh, subject of uh, theme of research is federalism. And this opened up quite a lot of topics related to possible deep regulatory changes, if you may think of it that way, in terms of actual changes in the charter, looking at economic provisions, ownership provisions, um, restrictions on uh, in, in foreign investment and so forth, and ownership of land. Um, at this point, I may also suggest, uh, actually this is chronologically one of the last items mentioned, which is mining. Mining is also uh, something that uh, there might be some fertile uh, cross-fertilization of uh, knowledge and research, given the long experience of Australia in the mining industry, both in terms of the uh, well, actual conduct and the governance and regulatory uh, framework and legal framework. Also, uh, more on priorities is the ASEAN set of priorities. Philippines is hosting 50th anniversary, very auspicious. Uh, and one of the uh, uh, priorities mentioned in ASEAN is uh, micro, small, and medium enterprises, which uh, fits very well with Philippine own development priorities expressed in the Philippine Development Plan, plus also uh, fits very well with the inclusive growth uh, thrust of the economics research to be I think, um, undergirding the, the uh, Philippines project. So in relation to this, uh, other regulatory issues, regulation and governance issues, competition policy. Now also flagged as a need for the growth and especially inclusive growth of the country is the role of education. So there was a lot of discussion on education and various mechanisms that, that uh, might enable education, such as possibility of looking at uh, finance, exploring new modes of finance. This may not be so new in Australia, given their fairly extensive uh, student loan system, and it's something that Philippine, Filipino researchers, especially in policy areas, uh, might want to uh, uh, explore. Now, another set uh, or cluster of themes relate to the so-called fourth industrial revolution. So this entire theme of technology, even in education it was mentioned, this deluge of fake news that seems to have been empowered by this new technology, as well as the, uh, you know, real news. That is also, let's not forget that a lot of real, genuine information is now at our fingertips, thanks to these new wave of technologies, but it's so far reaching, it's almost everywhere now, robotics, even the way we navigate, the way we ride our taxis, even the way Farmers are farming or doing banking might be right now or potentially revolutionized by this. Speaking of farmers and uh, farmers farming, uh, this was also mentioned as an issue, especially for inclusive growth, to also examine uh, issues of uh, um, uh, related to farming, the marketing systems, possibly disadvantaging uh, farmers uh, in the Philippines as well as the, um, uh, the, the demographic issues of farming. So a lot of young people seem to be not attracted to farming and seem to be attracted to the other sectors. So what are the long-term implications of this? Uh, we already mentioned innovation, but science and technology is another item for research. So do research on the research process or on the whole uh, um, nexus of activities related to the creation of new scientific knowledge and uh, later on hopefully new technologies to drive economic growth, which is in the end the one real long-term engine of growth that we know of uh, historically. 
So uh, other issues that we have touched upon, uh, I think we already mentioned the, the, the issue of farming. That was actually uh, mentioned in particular with rice, but it, it crosses over, cuts across various uh, agricultural commodities. So, yes, I think I have run ahead of the visual aid here a lot. So that may have sounded a bit uh, rambling, but you could see some of the major themes recurring over and over could, uh, in relation to inclusive growth, governance, regulation, uh, pay attention to sectors, pay attention to technology, new opportunities, and how researchers could potentially input to policymakers and other stakeholders in this new world that is unfolding before us. Thank you.